Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick review on this Fireplace Corner Fireplace TV stand. I've got another video that shows you how to put it together, but this video I'm just going to do a quick review. We absolutely love it. The, the logs can change colors, the flames behind it can change color. It does have a heater that sends heat out and is actually heating the room up. It's got a nice remote that can change the temperature. And then I can change the color back there. We're glad we spent a little extra money so that we could have, this looks like, it's like a 3D. It's definitely got some depth to it and it looks really nice. I've got a 70 inch TV above it, but the TV's mounted to the wall so I don't have to worry about the TV sitting on top of the TV stand. It's got a place for a stream bar. It's got two shelves. This does have a glass front, but we don't notice that that much. But you do get a little bit of a glow here where that heat's coming out, and that heat feels really good. And it actually heats up this little room. So here it is put together. It looks really nice. Here's what the back looks like. It went together relatively easy, but we got to put the fireplace insert in. But here's what the back looks like. The fireplace comes in a whole separate box. We got this fireplace TV stand off of Home Depot. It's the Churchill 51 inch corner media electric fireplace, dark espresso. Okay, so it's time to put the fireplace in. The fireplace does have these nice handles on both sides to lift it up. Here's what it looks like. It's got a plug in, looks like they're a fan. And we got to put it in there. So the fireplace does come with a manual, a remote, and some screws. Okay, so you got to slide the fireplace in from the back, and there's these little brackets. The screws are for those brackets on each side that you're going to screw into the wood. So just sliding it in, it looks fine. So you don't have to lift it up to screw it in. Just slide it in, and then the screws are going to help if somebody pushes on it. It won't push back. Okay, so I got it plugged in. There's a little plastic piece to slide out. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, so what's nice is the display goes blank after just a little bit after you change it. So let's, I can change the temperature. I can change, there's F1, F2, F3, F5. So all the, all the F numbers does is change the background. Now it does have this glass on in the front. You can see the heating element. There are controls up here. I can change the temperature of the F1s up here. So it does have like a backlight. So if you hit this top right button, there's like a, a light that comes on inside the fireplace. So I can do something with the logs. This bottom right button, it's kind of making the logs glow. I'll have to read up on that, but it does do something with the logs. Okay, so then I've got this, this other log button right here. So if I press it, you'll see an L5. That changes the how bright the logs are so I've got L1 which is pretty dim for the logs L5 is really bright okay so we've got it all installed it looks really nice um, getting everything the cables back there was kind of a chore um, that can be kind of tricky now I want to go over some of the measurements so this top shelf you're only allowed about five and this shelf oh maybe about nine and then another 11 they're not super deep eight the fireplace looks really nice the only thing i didn't like was there are some sticker just those that sticker right there and there was a sticker right there to get off 
and then the only damage we had was on these pieces here we're going to try to get a pin that matches it the color wise and color those but other than that it looks really nice so we're glad we bought it uh getting the tv was kind of the tricky part getting that measurement so again with carpet it's right around 30 three inches but what we didn't recognize is this or this tv had a little thing sticking down for the infrared so the tv was here but this thing stuck down so i had to re redo the brackets on the back of the tv and for some reason ours just doesn't quite fit all the way back but it still looks okay if you can't get it all the way back against the wall i've got some brackets going on that were kind of preventing it but it still looks really nice this is a 70 inch tv and that's what a 70 inch tv looks like and i know it's off center just a little bit so again we're very happy with this purchase thanks everybody for watching